choose your friends wisely and I say this because a lot of times people can kind of mingle and not capitulate that sounds that's quite inappropriate capitulate capitulate with the wrong people a lot of times people can often capitulate or be friends with the wrong type of people and this leads to their downfall because it traps them in mediocrity their love for these people that they consider their friends when they're often binded by a drug or some sort of extra activity and otherwise they don't really have so much in common and a lot of times like I got this feeling as well a lot that oh yeah I need to drop these guys I need to move on I need to do this I need to do that I couldn't realize that these people weren't my friends that these people weren't the people that I saw them as and if anything there were spugs that I wasted my time with and because I wasted my time with these people it often proved difficult to leave and often proved difficult to change as an individual and because I, the FOMO, the fear of missing out, the fear of being alone, the fear of just being like a, like a, like a lone wolf type character triumphed over my love for these guys. I, I let myself be mediocre for a while which kind of stunted my progress by a lot and it just, it just fuck, it honestly fucked me up. It fucked me up for a while and this is why I want to talk about the topic choose your friends wisely because if you don't choose your friends wisely you're dooming yourself to be mediocre I remember I was in Vietnam and I spent every single day I spent every single day in Vietnam exercising every single day I used to wake up 5am and I used to wake up do light exercise and by 6am I'd be on the courtyard doing badminton like intense badminton I do like 20 sets no, not 20 sets, that's 20, too much. I think I did 5 sets of 20, uh, games of 21 points. And I always used to try to push my limits. And I was constantly surrounded. And I, I always used to do this because I was constantly surrounded by people that loved fitness. That loved health and fitness. And of course they were like the older gentlemen. They were like the old Asian grandparents in the park. But they loved fitness. And because of that it rubbed off of me. And I think my cardio has never been better since then. Like my cardio peaked at that point. Because I always used to be doing cardio. Every single day, run. Badminton, bicycle, at some point my cardio was amazing and I, I, honestly that was the biggest like weight loss period that was two months of intense training with intense cardio it was the biggest weight loss period of my entire life the weight loss and fat loss as well particularly fat loss that's the most important part people like to conflate, conflate weight loss with fat loss which is wrong weight could be muscle loss as well and, and, and fat loss you want ideally more muscle, less fat. Depends on both genders. <sighs> Listen, guys. The message from that uh, from that analogy was because I was surrounded with fitness people constantly, I could not help but be on my fitness journey, and not and I could not help but lose twenty kilograms within the space of two months. That's ten kilograms a month. That's quite intense. I was 87 kilograms going in. I am 70 kilograms at my lowest now. I was nearing, I was nearing, I was 87, 88 kilograms, quite fat or quite obese. I have images. So I will definitely put this, make this an uh, edited video, but I'll put some uncut video as well so you guys can see the uncut, uncut version. But I was, eight, I was damn near 90 kilograms at 5 foot 6. I'm now at 5 foot 7 at 70 kilograms. I've lost 17 kilograms. In total, I'm actually, yeah, I measured, my, measured myself yesterday, I was at 73 kilograms. But that's because I ate a lot of food, but... So you can see I was 14 kilograms. In total, uh, yeah, a rough estimate, I lost like 20 kilograms in total, that's what I'd like to say. I didn't lose 20 kilograms hanging around gamers. I did not lose 20 kilograms hanging around people that were lazy. People that were sitting at their desk all day, gaming. And doing just fucking doing bullshit. I did not do that with video gamers. I did that with surrounding myself with people that loved fitness and loved exercising and loved dedicating dedicating themselves to the to the craft to the sport. You should choose your friends wisely because if everyone likes to say, "Oh, you are the sum of the five people that you hang around most with," and then like, there's people that dispel it, people that don't dispel it. Everyone thinks of the exception. Humans are social creatures. If your girlfriend. Is hanging around them, fucking <laughs> whole phase type 
uh, City Girl, oh my god! Uh, was it Hot Girl Summer, oh my god! Type girls, there is a high likelihood she will attempt to replicate them and she will end up making a mistake, an irreversible mistake later down the line. Uh, she, she herself probably regrets as well. <sighs> because of it. Humans like to fit in. I remember I was around guys who hated video editing at some point. And because of my desire, my intense desire to fit in, I decided, okay, I hate video games too. It might sound like I'm deep in my voice, but it's because I just ruined. I decided because of the individuals around me that hated video games, that I would hate video games too. I self-sabotaged. For like six months, I got no video editing done. I got no uploading done. I got nothing done. Nothing productive done. And it hurt me in my soul. Only recently, I've cut these fucking guys out. And only recently, I've seen massive progress. Surround yourself with the right people and get fucking real shit done. If you only surround yourself with people that think about the money, it's very, very difficult in order to not think about the money and then chase money thereafter. And of course, you could be like, oh, Jimmy, that analogy is... Oh, and materialistic and uh, my life is not about money and da, 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 da. of course life is not all about money I completely agree with you life is, not about, life is not all about earning money life is not all about the chase and pursuit of money in fact everything it should be the chase of value instead you should try to be a person of value not a person of money Albert Einstein you shouldn't try to chase the money because my, my, money is one of those things where it's an arbitrary number in which much money yeah. Money in which is an arbitrary number. Mm, mm, mm. In which is an arbitrary number in which, honestly, it will never be enough. It will never ever be enough. Money is one of those unique things in which we constantly feel as if we just need more of. There's always the next new thing, the, the nicest car, the Rolls Royce, the private jet. There's so much levels of consumerism. A lot of the rich guys that you see, like Kevin O'Leary, like all them, all them guys, the Shark Tank guys, are still consumers at the core. I need to give you food. I'm gonna call this video I'll give you food. Like Kevin O'Leary, I saw him recently in a short, a YouTube short. I was getting my 10 minutes of YouTube done through the day. I saw this guy crying over a Patek Philippe watch. Was it Patek Philippe or um, Franco de Marco? I don't know. That's probably that or something. A Franco something watch. He's crying over pieces of steel and gold and leather valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars on his wrist. He is a consumer. Of course he lives a phenomenal life and phenomenal to respect what he is now. But then again, he is a consumer at the end of the day. <sighs> Choose a friend wisely, guys. Catch you on the next one.